So next we're going to continue na. So paano na kuha yung 10 po dito. So by using our calcium, okay? So depending on your calcium, ito muna yung unang ipaprocess natin. Kasi medyo mahaba ito, susunod yung numerator. Okay? So we have 1, okay, on yung calcium, press 1, plus E, okay, press yung E. Then, kasi uh, press yung E, may lalabas na ba siya sa uh, box dun sa taas niya. So press yung negative, multiply by point, press yung point 0.25, multiply by 10, equal. Then, divided by 10. Okay? Equal. Then, nauna yung, yung uh, denominator sa so, numerator. Equal. Then, i-press yung x raised to negative 1. Pagbabalik ka rin po natin siya. x raised to negative 1 or andapin nyo yung function na 1 all over x. Kung baga, ibabalik ka rin niya. Okay? Pag okay na siya, x raised to negative 1 Nabalik ko na siya, and then equal, and then plus 5. The answer is 10. Okay? Okay, so can you look on the function for your calculator, no? Okay. Next, we're going to try yung 10 po ulit, no? Okay. So we have, pag input po siya, we have 1, then plus Pindot ko yung E, nasa, tapos raise to, then press yung negative. Okay. Then press yung 0.25, tapos press yung times 10. Okay. Then equal, tapos divided by, then 10, equal, then press yung uh, 1 over x. Okay? Then, equal. Then, then, press yung plus. Then, 5. Then, equal. Okay? Can you try? Okay? So, 1 plus E raised to negative 0.25, no? Can you on your calcule? Press 1 plus E. So then, lalabas yung, press yung negative. Then, press 0.25 times 10 equal. Siya, no? Then, divided by 10. Then, press equal. Then, press 1 all over X or X raised to negative 1 para magbaliktad po itong dalawa. Kasi noon na yung denominator kaysa yung numerator. Then, press equal plus 5 and then press equal. The answer is 14.241. Did you follow? Okay, so that's now your procedure on how we're going to compute to get the value of 14.241. Okay, so can I have the answer in chat box? Oh, next, we have your number two, no? We have 20, then 1 plus E raised to negative 0.25 times 20, then equal divided by 10, equal press X raised to negative 1, equal plus 5, the answer is 14.933. Okay, so can you follow our procedure in our chat box? Next, we're going to get the value of 40, no? So can you have the answer for this one, 40? Because 30 is already 14.994, 40 is not exactly 15. The answer there is, can you have the value? 1 plus E raised to negative. 0.25 multiplied by 40 equal divided by 10 
equal divided by uh, divided by 10 equal then press x raised to negative 1 equal plus 5 can you have the answer okay very good miss Seiler no so that's not exactly 15 no but in our table w is 15 next the same with our 50 can you have the value so 50, no? 1 plus E raised to negative 0.25 times 50 equal divided by 10 equal X raised to negative 1 equal plus 5. The answer is 14 point something ole. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mark. And for the last one, Y1 is equal to yung 60 dito, hindi siya 50, no? Ito yung actual na value niya. For 60, we have 15, no? The answer is 14.9996273. That is for 50, no? So we are going to compute for 60. So for 60 naman, we're going to have our y1, 1 plus e raised to negative 0.25 times 60 equal divided by 10 equal x raised to negative 1, equal, plus 5, equal, the answer is 14.99969941. Did you get the value for x is equal to 60? Mr. Mark and Johan, did you get the value? This one? Okay. So that's the way how we're going to use our calculator in solving this kind of equation. Okay, so if we're going to look on our figure from 0 to 60, okay, so if our x is equal to 0, our y is equal to 10, from 0 to 60, which means your value of your y is approximately or very close and close to 15. Ito yung kanina, no? Uh, ito yung value natin na kanina. Ito siya, no? So, hindi siya lumampas sa 15. No? As x approaches to infinity, the answer is 15. Not greater than 15. Since we have a positive value. Okay? Kaya pag titignan po yung value po natin, 14.99641, we're going to look on our figure, 30, 60, big sabihin, magkakaroon po tayo dito ng straight line. Yun po siya, which is less than 15. Okay? So that's now our infinity. Ibig sabihin nun, kahit anong value po ilalagay natin, our value will not be greater than 15. Okay? As per, ano no, doon sa conditions natin. Next, doon sa 5 po naman, ito siya no, we have negative infinity. The values of E raised to negative 25, 0.25x get arbitrarily large so the limit of function of x as x approaches negative infinity is equal to 5. Ito siya. From the left pa naman, from 0 up to this value, the answer is 5. Okay? From the left, no? Ito yung 5, 10, 15, no? Ito siya. So, ano yung mga corresponding values ng mga limits pa natin? The same procedure. Okay? This is now the graph of limit of the function of x where the function of x is equal to 5 plus 10 all over 1 plus e raised to negative 0.25x as x approaches to negative infinity. Okay? So, dito, can have your calculate. Nakuha na natin yung zero dito, no? The answer is 10. Next, if we have negative 10, okay, can I have the calc 1 plus E raised to negative 0.25 times negative 10 equal divided by 10 equal X raised to negative 1, press on, or 1 all over X equal plus 5. The answer is 5.7586. Okay? Did you get the value? 
Okay, Sir Mark and Johan. 5.7586. Okay, very good. Huh? Next. Can we try make it uh, no, negative 60? No? Okay, for negative 60, 5 plus, uh, no, 1 plus E raised to negative 0.25 times negative 60 equal divided by 10 equal x raised to negative 1 or 1 all over x plus 5. The answer is 5.00030592. Have you get this value? In your calcul? Lumabas sa calcul po natin. Okay. So, if we're going to look at our figure, we have 5.00030952, no? Okay. Kahit ano po yung value na ilalagay po natin dito, okay, so yung value po natin is within not less than 5, no? Ito siya, no? Dito, not greater than 15. Ito, not lower than 5. So, if you're going to have this function, and this is our limit, our answers is within the range of 5 to 15. Biyan, mali po yung lalabas na sagot po natin. Okay? Hanggang 5 tsaka 15. Kaya, pag negative 60, the answer is 5.003902. So, if this is our negative 60, yung kumbaga, yung ano natin po dito is mataas siya, tapos hanggang magkakaroon ng ganun po siya. So, that is now our infinity limit. Okay? So, that's now our solutions. So, next limit, we are already done with our infinity limit, no? So, Next limit at infinity of 1 all over x raised to n. So the limit of 1 all over x raised to n as x approaches to infinity is equal to 0. And also, the limit of 1 all over x raised to n as x approaches negative infinity, the answer is 0. So, we have here another way of finding the limit. We already done with two-sided two limits. We already done with one-sided limit. We already done with our infinity limit. And also, we have now another infinity limit in terms of 1 all over x raised to n. So, this is now our condition. For any positive real number, n Let's take an example. Example number two. Find the limit of 5x squared minus 7x plus 1 divided by 2x squared plus x plus 5 as x approaches to infinity. If we're going to look on our equation, we have now the divisions of limit. One way, one rule for the quotient rule is that provided that the limit of that denominator is not equal to zero. But by this time, uh, siguro medyo natin, hindi natin magamit yun dahil our limit is not constant. Infinity po siya. Although, we're still going to use the quotient rule. No? So the limit, solution, divide numerator, and denominator, this is our first solution. Divide numerator, and denominator by the highest power of x involved in x squared. So the highest power in our variable is the second degree we have x squared. So yun po yung i-divide natin to the whole equation. We have 5x squared divided by x squared kaya cancel yung x squared. Minus 7x divided by x squared we have x. Plus 1 all over x squared. Next, we have number 2. 2x two squared divided by x squared, we have 2. Plus x divided by x squared, we have 1 all over x. Plus 5 divided by x squared, we have x squared. So, yun yung first rule po natin. Dedivide natin po siya 
yung highest power of our variable. Next, we're going to apply the quotient rule. We're going to have the limit for the numerator and the limit for the denominator. So we have 5, the limit, the 5 minus 7x plus 1 all over x squared as x approaches to infinity divided by limit 2 plus 1 all over x plus 5 all over x squared as x approaches to infinity. So this is our quotient rule, no? Okay. Nilagay po natin yung limit for, uh, for both numerator and denominator. Next, after writing that one, what we're going to do next, we're going to substitute our limit to our variable. Okay? So yung step one, step two, roll one, two, three, four, no? In limits. Okay? So the limit of five minus 7x is multiplication. Okay? 7x po siya, no? Plus 1. Pero dito, nung nag-divide po tayo, we're going to follow now this final equation after dividing it by x squared. So multiply by limit, multiply by 1 all over x. Plus limit, 1 all over x squared. Okay? Limit 2 as x approaches infinity plus limit 1 all over x as x approaches to infinity plus 5 multiply by limit divided by x squared as x approaches to infinity. Okay? So, so substitute one natin. If we're going to substitute the value approaches infinity, so we have 0. Then, ito rin, infinity po siya, 0. Zero din ito, lahat ng variable po natin, if we're going to substitute by infinity, the answers are all zero. So, if we're going to have that one, simply get further, what's left is only the constant. So, 5 divided by 2 is equal to oh, 0 plus minus 0 plus 0 divided by 2 plus 0 plus 0. So, after simplifying our infinity limit in terms of 1 all over x, our final answer is 5 all over 2. Okay? So that ends our discussion for today regarding our limits and continuity part 3. Okay?